Walking in this hangar feels like you have you have so much responsibility as an aircraft maintenance engineer. You are responsible for the whole, whole technical portion of the aircraft. Ultimately, you are as responsible for uh, people flying in and ultimately the machines. So it's kind of it's kind of great feeling that you will learn everything in this hangar. Here we learn all about the aircraft, how it flies, all the different systems, um, how the systems work, how they interact with each other, all the engines, airframe side, electrical, hydraulics, pneumatics, any kind of system that's on the aircraft, we learn all about that system. Well, we work on a lot of uh, single engine piston aircraft. So we also have float aircraft, so very popular around this, this region um, for seasonal operators. We also have an airplane on wheel skis. My experience, we worked on all of that in the field. You get to work in the wintertime, you're outside working on ski aircraft, then you change it over, put some floats on, and work on float aircraft. If you work on helicopters, you get a little bit of uh, more outdoorsy experience as the helicopters can land just about anywhere. So if you're working in a helicopter field, you get to do a, lot, a little bit more travel maybe and spend some nights out in the, the bush, which a lot of people like to do. When we are working, we, ha we have to really take care about everything. We must must know the stuff we are doing and we can't neglect anything and let it go. Um, the job market is very good right now. The amount of seats in schools across Canada will not fill the positions available coming in the very near future. We get a lot of positive feedback from employers over the years. We've been around for well over 50 years, so our program is very well known throughout Canada. And we still get lots of companies phoning us saying, yeah, you guys produce good quality students and we want to hire your students. I see myself working in airline industry and uh, implementing those things well, which I have learned throughout my two years and I'm pretty sure like I will be able to get my aircraft maintenance engineer license and be the successful engineer.